welcome in another video and today I will build this it's called transistor tester but it's a component tester and uh, I get this from uh, banggood.com for about uh, 20 US dollars and there's also cheaper version without this uh, case but uh, I want to have it uh, more durable so this case will protect it and uh, you can also print a uh, case for this there's a lot of projects uh, on Thinkverse I think so the tester comes in a grey box with all components uh, inside there's no uh, instruction for this I think the on site only there's only instruction how to assemble the case and There's a screen and a quick release uh, socket which uh, I also have included in this kit and there are also Standoffs for because it's uh, it have to be higher. Flat in this okay, so I will put them here because I don't want to forget uh, to install them. There's a rotary encoder with button. Uh, the main chip, uh, which is uh, Admega 328 and I've seen that you can get uh, replacement chips if you will uh, destroy this one for example by connecting charge capacitor oh, there's the second socket which I don't need the battery connector and all components and they are not uh, the resistors are not marked so you have to read the barcode or you can uh, measure them like I will do Uh, there are a few capacitors uh, 
LED. Or stand up for a screen. for screen also oh, two electrolytic capacitors and five uh, transistors and also quartz which is probably needed for this uh, at mega chip and the boards it's nice quality one with uh, all components uh, values marked so it's not uh, it's not too hard to assembly. And I also have this three D printed. Uh, I don't know, bending tool. <laughs> so, I think we can start. Let me first uh, turn on my film extractor, which is uh, also 3D printed. It's uh, one-to-one -one, uh, model of uh, Xbox Series X, S and uh, it's controlled by Arduino and it will extract uh, and filter the soldering fumes Okay, so I will start uh, with uh, resistors because I think there are s yeah, smallest uh, parts in height. But first I will check the resistance. So 9.1 kilo ohm oh, It's probably not visible 9.9 .9, so I think it will be 10k
Okay, so let's power this up. And now I will uh, go to calibration. And now I can. Uh, I have to uh, short all connectors. And it will go through self-test uh, and uh, calibration. And that's uh, what this uh, capacitor is uh, used because uh, it's also part of the calibration process. And now I have to put this between uh, 1 and 3 and there's information that the uh, test uh, is end now we can adjust the Contrast of this uh, LCD. There's a uh, version and all this uh, self-test informations the possible uh, components all uh, characters Okay, so now I can disconnect it and uh, I will install this case. And after that, I will test some uh, components.
Okay, so that's that's it. And now I can try to test some uh, components. So I will start with uh, LED. And okay, it's uh, growing a little. Now I have a uh, hundred ohm resistor. Ninety nine point three. So I think it's okay. But I should also have some transistors. And you also have the information which leg is uh, which one. So I can turn this. And it should also read everything, but change the connect connections drag on and now let me check this capacitors And it should be 47 picofarads. And it's showing 44, so I think it's okay. What else uh, I can test? Okay, so I have some high quality audio capacitors and it's uh, 470 microfarads. Uh, 
showing 512 with uh, very low ESR. Okay, so now I will try this uh, Dale uh, resistor. It should be 100 uh, ohms, and it's one percent uh, tolerance. 99.7. So I think it's okay. So now hundred fifty nanofarads capacitor. One three seven point nine. And I will compare it with my multimeter and it's also one three seven. So similar value. Two point two nanofarad. And it's Point two oh nine, so it's also okay. And let me check this clear diode, clear white. Because I think it has problem with this one, because it's the candle, candle-like diode, and now I have correct reading. I think uh, because this one is this. Uh, can do like that's why it's showing uh, like two diodes okay what else uh, I have there Okay, so forty seven ohms, it's showing forty six point four, so it's okay.
transistor it's also detected correctly This one also correct. So I think uh, it's working good. It should be eight point. I think so it's okay uh, what does I have And it's also detected correctly. What will happen if I will connect the small speaker? It's detected as resistor with coil, which I think is correct. 7.3 ohm and Point uh, oh three micro Henry. So I think there's also function generator. But I'm not sure on which uh, connections. There's a 10 bit uh, PWM generator. Rotary encoder uh, test, I think. And the calibration capacitor.
I don't have a any more uh, strange components to test. So I think I will end this video now. And I think for uh, $20 it's uh, worth to, to get uh, this tester like this. There's also, I think, an uh, assembled version. If you, if you want uh, to have it done without soldering but I think it's much better to make it yourself and and uh, learn something by doing this So I will put the link to, to this tester in the video description and if you like this video click the like button, subscribe for more videos uh, like this and thanks for watching, uh, see you in the next video.